All right, good morning. This is our load today. It's Monday. We got a coil under there for about 12,000 pounds and a machine on like a cart. I think it's like a mini lathe or something like that. It's only about 500. But uh, we're taking this up to Grand Rapids, Michigan. So there's the entire truck. Not too bad, it's about 12,500 pounds. Going up to Michigan. You guys last saw me dropping off in Nashville. I was running out of hours back there. And uh, the broker that I always deal with back at this area here in Knoxville, I uh, said he had this for Monday. And I was like, well, since that's by the house, it gives me a reason to go home and spend the weekend at home, fix the engine fan and some other stuff. Sorry, I didn't mean to be blinding you in the sun. Get that stuff fixed and um, pick this up on Monday. So that's what we did today. Just got it. We got about a nine, I'd say about a nine and a half hour drive up to Michigan. So we'll do the majority of that today and uh, finish the rest of it in the morning. So that's the plan there. I'll figure out what I'm doing in Michigan then. But uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. I think I'm gonna get a move on. And um, I'll talk to you guys here later. Okay guys, uh, we're taking a quick little pit stop. We're gonna check on the load, check on the tarp, make sure everything's doing good. We are currently in Indiana. We're, uh, yeah, just a little bit into Indiana off of uh, Interstate 74. We are heading towards Indianapolis. We're gonna drive around Indianapolis to the north side and then get on Highway 31. And that's gonna run us all the way up north towards Grand Rapids. And um, I have used Trucker Path to find me a truck stop out that way. So we're gonna go over here to this pilot. It's a new one, it's outside of Rochester. And um, yeah. According to Trucker Path here, there's not a whole lot of places to stop here on 31. That's 31 there, but there's a handful of places. Uh, I debated about that Loves because you guys know I like to stop at Loves. But it looks like it's a brand new facility, but it's not that far away. I want to make more distance. So, I found this one up here. It's a pilot. Also a brand new pilot. It's not even on the map yet, but we are going to go there. once I can actually click things correctly. <laughs> so we're gonna route that. Showing from this rest area that I'm at. We got just shy of a two hour drive to get out there. So I'll put us there about, let's see, it's four o'clock now. So about seven o'clock and that's fine. But uh, let's go check on the load. See how it's doing. So yeah, this is the Indiana um, rest area. I don't know if it's really a welcome center, but it's the first one in Indiana. And uh, got plenty of parking here, but I never stay long-term at a rest area. That's just, I want to park where there's food and bathrooms. So anyways, let's check on the load. Things are looking okay. The little loose bits are trying to puff out and that's to be expected. But like this part here, it's actually not blowing around too much. So it's just puffing. I got nothing to really hold it inwards. I could, if I wanted to, run a bungee cord there and back down. That'll keep it from popping out, but it's no big deal. That chain's tight. There's another one down here. That one's tight. That's tight. And then under here, so I don't know if you can see, but there's a cart in there that's on wheels and um you know those things are always fun because you never know if they're gonna want to roll around but it's still pretty tight no new holes so that's good tires are full of air um i had mentioned that i had lighting issues this light here the uh running light isn't working and I found out why the uh, the plug came out for it. So I got brake lights and turn signals, but um, I'm gonna have to find a plug for it and rewire it. That's no big deal. That should be pretty quick and easy. 
This side's looking a little bit cleaner and nicer than the other one, so that's good. So again, under here, you can barely see it, but there is a coil in there. It's a steel sheeted coil. That's down there. And yeah, everything's looking nice and tight. This is just folded up, so I have a place to run these bungee cords to try to keep this inside piece from puffing out. So, it's doing good. But uh, anyways, we got a reload booked. It's coming out of Hudsonville, I think it is, Michigan. It's about 10 miles away from Grand Rapids. So we will pick that up. It is a skid steer. It's going to Avondale, Pennsylvania. So it's unfortunately running the turnpike and whatnot. We can maybe avoid some of it but we're gonna be running the turnpike out to Pennsylvania. Avondale's just on the other side of uh, Pittsburgh. And um, we'll deliver that maybe the end of the day tomorrow, but probably first time, or first, first of the morning, Wednesday. And um, it's a big, big skid steer. I think it's a brand new unit. Um, it's weighing in at like 19,500 pounds. So it's as big as they get. And um, yeah, so. It's nice because the deadhead miles are short, so that's kind of why I took it. And um, we'll deal with the tolls and whatnot later. But anyways, that's it. I'm going to get a move on so I can get there at about 7 o'clock. The pilot we're going to is a small one from what I'm seeing in the reviews. There's only a Dunkin' Donuts there and just the regular gas station food. So a little disappointing, but a brand new store is always nice. So that's where we're going to park for tonight for now. We're gonna get back moving. Three hours to go. Should be smooth. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Talk to you later.